Okay. Now we will move the se to the second part, which is the uh, X-ray machine over here. So, what we what we need to do is that whenever any 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 message that is showing on this screen, it means that you cannot make a real exposure. You should have a clear message written here is that the uh, ready to exposure. Otherwise, any otherwise any other error message that is showing it means that you cannot do the exposure. Even when this message is showing, you cannot raise or lower down the machine. So you have to reset. You have to reset all over again. Resetting is done by clicking on the R uh, button over here. Now, when we reset, you will see that one this will give you another error message which shows that H error number H30 H301 dash R button which says or clear, declares that move into starting position. This is not the starting position. Actually this position is the end position from a previous exposure. So in order to Activate the machine. You need it. You need to put it back into zero position from the starting point of the exposure, and this is done again. So after the first click of resetting the screen or the touchpad of the of the machine, we're going to click reset again. So this will bring the machine into its uh, zero position when the exposure is going to start. So this is a good thing. Uh, if the patient is standing with you, so you can see that so far we have not positioned the patient. The good thing about this is that the patient will know what's going to happen, especially when this machine is going to rotate. This machine is not a stable machine, it's a rotating machine, and the, the patient should be familiarized with the way it moves. If the operator before you has already reset the position into the restarting the position, which is this one, where the X-ray, this is by the way the X-ray head, where the X-ray is going to generate, and this is the collimator, which is going to collimate the beam into a slit type of X-ray, and this is the image sensor, which is going to capture the image, and the image will be transferred via a cable to the computer where we have activated the exposure in the, in the first place. So, if you feel that your patient is a bit worried or he is not very well acquainted with those machines, you can demonstrate the exposure to the patient without real X-ray generation. It is just a matter of showing how the machine, especially with children, we usually tell the children is that this is a big camera or you're going to have all your teeth shown. So uh, to do this, uh, and to lessen the fear and the apprehension of the patient, you're going to uh, click on the button which is just next to the R button, which, which is uh, uh, designated as a letter T. Letter T stands for test. Letter T here is that I'm going, when I'm going to click T, as you can see in here, which is this, just next to the R letter, you're going to click on T, you will see that this screen will come, which is a T letter with a circle. And again, it will tell you that it is ready for exposure. T, again repeat, is the test mode in which there is no real X-ray production. It's just a, a rotation or a movement, this typical semi-arc movement of the X-ray machine. To demonstrate or to operate or activate the machine in the T position, first of all you have to click T, as mentioned earlier, and then you're going to expose. See the machine, how it will rotate. By the way, when this machine, just like any other X-ray machine, when real X-ray is being generated, you will always hear a sound and a light that indicates that there is real or there is X-ray that is being generated. So, when I click on the exposure button, just like the regular way when I'm doing the exposure, I will click on the T button, see, the machine will start exactly rotating in the same manner as it would do in the normal exposure, 
and this is how it goes. So you're rotating all around, almost 270 degrees all around, and then it will stop, and you will hear this typical sound of stopping the exercise.